Boy, do I love me some Scary Vader. Hey everyone, Jeremy here. Today I'm about to watch the penultimate episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi, and that actually hurts to say because I'm I'm loving this series so, so much. The fact that we only have two episodes left counting today. Man, I, I'm going to savor this. I'm absolutely going to savor this. Unless they drop the ball, this has been one of my favorite pieces of Star Wars content. Uh, it has hit every right note for me. I, I personally enjoy the way they've told this story. I love the idea that we are seeing a story of Obi-Wan. What would really happen to someone who suffered the loss that he did? That, that Obi-Wan would be so broken because of the losses he's seen. Because you can only lose so much. And then to lose everything. To lose absolutely everything. And I think that is a beautiful piece of storytelling. And I am just so thrilled they've made this series all of that said let's get into it Coruscant isn't it yeah ah oh, there you are I was beginning to think you weren't coming master are you love it <laughs> this is 19 year old Anakin Third sister is here. Mew. Grand Inquisitor. Oh. We leave for Jabim at once. Wow. I was not expecting that yet. Haja? Huh. What are you doing here? I had nowhere else to go. Right after I saw you, I got into a fight with that scary lady Inquisitor. Now I'm wanted by the Empire. This place is a good business opportunity, though. <laughs> On you go. We'll do whatever we can to help. I love it. He, that's a very different Obi-Wan already. He's finally... Yeah, we'll do whatever you need. Lock down the facility. He's getting closer and closer to the Obi-Wan we knew. Oh. That's so sad. That's either fallen Jedi or people that have come through there. defend our position together then by the time they get inside we'll be gone you heard him that him is general Let's kenobi go. if he's found you if he's learned of the children if i don't hear from you soon i'll head to tatooine i pray you're safe Obi-Wan. oh i love that bail understands how important right? they are too You mean Anakin? Hmm. If you knew who Vader was. Vader would have kept that hidden. Yeah. And you're too young to have known him. The Knight of Order 66. You were a youngling. That's how you knew you saw him. That. Yeah, I figured this was her, but. Oh my goodness. Oh! Hid with the bodies. Felt them go cold. They were the only family I knew. Then why you pledge yourself? You're serving him, are you? You're hunting him. Let me help you. Why would I ever trust you? Because we want the same thing. Do we, Obi-Wan? Knew it! 
Why didn't you stop him? Why didn't you save us? Yeah, that's why she blamed him. Do it. I don't need your help. You have no idea what I've done alone. Thank goodness stormtroopers are terrible shots. Oh man, there, there's, there's no way. There. Tell me there's another door. Okay, alive. Tala, get out of there. <laughs> I love that droid. Dang it, I knew it was coming. Yeah, dang it. Oh, boy, you can't get to her. <sighs> He's protecting her. My lord, Kenobi is already ours. Yeah, Obi Wan's gonna be the <laughs> Admit you are beaten. What is it? What's wrong? It's over. Archer, look out for her, will you? There are other ways to fight. He's gonna try to turn him back. He's gonna try to reach him. You're not bringing him to me. I'm bringing him to you. Oh. This isn't over yet. Oh. What makes you think he won't see it coming? Because all. Oh, what a line. Uh. Oh, there. It's over. Your need for victory, Anakin, it blinds you. Done. Where's Tala? Tell who you can! Move, move, let's go! Wait, that's the direct line to Bale. Oh! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh! Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> You're a great warrior, Anakin. But your need to prove yourself is your undoing. Until you overcome it, a Padawan you will still be. He's still the learner. <laughs> Knew it! Knew it! Oh, let, let's see this. 
not even using his saber yet. Oh. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. He finished what he started. Did you really believe I did not see it, youngling? You are of no further use. Knew it! He's still alive! Revenge does wonders for the will to live, don't you think? <laughs> oh my goodness. Something's wrong. She's gonna figure it out. I'm sure it's nothing. She's gonna go try Thank and kill Luke. No, it can't be over yet. <laughs> Okay, the next episode better be like an hour and a half long. Oh my goodness, there is still so much left to do. Okay, oh, where do I start? Reba's still alive. That I didn't expect. I did not expect Vader to leave her alive. I feel like that has a purpose. Like, Vader doesn't do anything without a purpose. Like, like I, I actually had theorized that maybe he was, you know, he was ahead of her. I figured he was ahead of her this whole time, and she was out to kill Vader, which I'm glad that is the story. I'm glad that is what we're going for instead of just her turning to the light or something like that. That makes her a much more interesting character, but I am surprised he left her alive, because he had done that. He had left her alive because he knew she was useful to find Kenobi. That's essentially why he'd left her this way. And once she betrayed him, he knew that's when he would put her down. So to leave her alive now makes me think he still has purpose for her. Similar to what Palpatine with Darth Maul. Darth uh, Palpatine almost killed Darth Maul after, you know, after he came back and took over Mandalore. But then he left him alive. And my theory on that has always been he left him alive because he was a useful distraction to Kenobi and, and Anakin's friends, basically. And I have to think Reva is something similar. I have to think that uh, Vader is doing something similar there where he left her alive knowing, one, she, she's never going to be able to best him. He proved that then and there very easily, by the way. That was awesome. And also that she might be able to cause chaos and almost like divert Kenobi's attention. So it splits his focus. He can't just focus on Vader. Now he's got to focus on her. But And it does seem like her obsession with Kenobi is somewhat real. It, she does blame him to a degree for what happened with Anakin. Now, speaking of Anakin, love that we finally got the flashbacks. We, we all kind of assumed we were going to get a flashback of some sort. I didn't necessarily think it would be Clone Wars. I wanted it to be. I absolutely wanted it to be. But I, I like this flashback. I love this flashback, actually, because it was telling the story of Obi-Wan and Anakin and their differences in just one duel. In just one duel, you were able to tell their differences. You know, Obi-Wan's patient, but he's, he's not aggressive. Anakin is, and it does give him an advantage when fighting. However, he's too quick to go for victory where Obi-Wan knows to bide his time. He knows how to strategize where Anakin gets too blinded. He gets uh, so, so focused on victory. He loses sight of everything around it. And I, I love that that was the story they were telling. And it also does 
it, it fixes the line. It fixes the line I was worried about in A New Hope. Because when Vader says in A New Hope, when we last met, I was but the learner, now I am the master. Now that still rings true because of what Obi-Wan said to him. You will always be a Padawan. You will always be a learner if you only focus on victory. He hadn't ever learned. He had never, ever grown past that. He had never stopped just focusing on victory and letting the outer, and actually seeing the bigger picture. This is the moment where he's learning that. This is the moment where he's going to have learned that. This series is where he's learned that. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. And I had the prediction that Tala might live to see the end of the series, and she has not. That that was a bit surprising. It wasn't surprising during the episode. It was surprising before the episode. Last week, I was, or after last week, I was kind of predicting, okay, she might make it to the end. She might actually rescue Obi-Wan at the end if he gets captured, which I was wrong on that theory, too. Uh, but... Yeah, because I had theorized maybe Obi-Wan would get captured this week, taking the Vader's castle. Ne you know, so next week would take place all in Vader's castle, and Tala would be would come to rescue him, something along those lines. Like, but obviously that's not what's going to happen now. But what did happen is she started talking about all her sins of the past as an Imperial, and once she started talking about that, I was kind of like. Yeah, you, you aren't long for this world. <laughs> There's no way. Once she started talking about she was making amends for the things she'd done in the past, I'm going, yeah, yeah, you're, you're telling me right now you are not living through this series. There is no way. So it was sad to see her go, though. I actually like Paula a lot. And the droid. I can't think of his name right now. Was it, like, it was something real simple, too, like Bob. I loved him. And, of course, we knew the Grand Inquisitor had to be alive unless they were going to completely break canon. And, you know, because he's alive during the Rebels animated series which is canon so we all kind of were waiting for that reveal so it was nice to finally get it because i actually got a little bit nervous there when he, she got made grand inquisitor i was like part of me is going well i guess it still could be a long game for vader and the grand inquisitor is still out there somewhere and that's what it was but it, but another part of me a big part of me was going oh oh did they just change canon <laughs> So now we're left wondering what is going to happen with Luke and what's going to happen with Vader. Next week has to be a longer episode. There is no way that it's just like an hour or even 30 minutes. I mean, uh, this it was actually, it is a complaint this week to me that it was only 30 minutes. I, I feel like this should have been a much longer episode. 30 minutes was not enough time for this. Uh, however, next week had better be longer because we've got to wrap up a few things. One they're on the run. The path, they're on the run at this point and they don't have a hyperdrive. So they've got to somehow escape Vader and somehow Obi-Wan has to get to Tatooine and save Luke, which that's a whole thing in itself because I don't know what Reva's plan is there. Is she going there to kill Luke to take revenge? On, you know, a way of taking revenge on Anakin or is it a way to get to Anakin and Kenobi? Oh, I'm going to steal this kid and I will face and it will bring out vader again and it'll bring out kenobi again and maybe i can maybe i can kill one or the other that's the only plan i can think of right now maybe you have a better one and feel free to leave that in the comments but yeah i think she's she's obviously put it together well like she put together that anakin and vader were the same person that's that's awesome. A lot of people predicted it. A lot of people predicted that, you know, she survived Order 66. She saw Anakin come into the temple, and that's how she knew who Vader was. And I, I like that they addressed it, because I was sitting here going, huh, I wonder how she knows. But I, I didn't put a lot of stock in whether or not they would explain that. But I'm so, so glad they did. I am sure I'm going to think of a hundred different things after I wrap this up. So if I miss something, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, what did you think of this week? What are you thinking is going to happen next week? And are you ready for this series to end? Whatever your thoughts, leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. Helps the channel out immensely. And it just is really, really nice to do. <laughs> and before I go, as always... Please take care of yourselves and please take care of each other. Thank you so, so much for watching. Bye-bye.